Hello everybody, Chuck here. We are at uh, PyCon 2024 in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I just saw a great talk this morning by uh, several former students who teach lawyers. So let's uh, let's get a little more information on this. So tell me, tell us your name, tell us your Python for Everybody experience, and sure. uh, what you do. Sure, I'm Wes Oliver. I teach at Duquesne Law School, and I first learned how to code through the uh, coding for lawyers class. Or, I'm sorry, for through the uh, the Python for Everybody class that Dr. Chuck taught. And what do you do? Oh, I, I teach uh, I teach uh, criminal law, criminal procedure, and now I teach coding for lawyers at Duquesne. Yeah, so both of all that sounds very dangerous, including knowing how to teach Python. So <laughs> tell us your name and, and what yeah. your PhD topic is and yeah. how you came to find your way into that PhD topic. Absolutely. Uh, my name is Morgan Gray. I am a rising fourth year student in the Intelligent Systems Program at the University of Pittsburgh. The Intelligent Systems Program is focused on applied AI across different domains. My domain is law. And my journey to this program um, started with um, Python for Everybody. I knew that if I was going to get into AI, the first thing that I had to do was learn how to program. And I turned to Dr. Chuck. I learned how to program, and ever since, it has been nothing but open doors. It even carried me to a PhD, it, probably the cutting edge of the field. Um, and so I would encourage everybody um, who wants to get started, who feels afraid, who feels like it's too much, Python for everybody is where you want to begin. So one of my theories is that uh, a PhD is like a very lonely and difficult journey, and I feel a little bad if I helped you get to the start of a PhD, <laughs> because then I made your life miserable for three years, or perhaps not. Um, Have you enjoyed it? I would I, I would never change it for anything. I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't change it. Um, I think you feel like it's an island because it becomes your life's work. You're the only one who knows that as intimately as you do. As you, do. And, um, you feel like an island for that. But you get support from everywhere. If you read the acknowledgement section in any um, PhD right. defense, you will see... Um, many 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 thanks and the common one is it takes a village and it does take a village and your village uh can come from michigan so yep so so yeah i mean the, the key i like the thing i like about phds they're very difficult and only a few people get them. but the thing i like about them is the aspect that is is very mentoring uh you're working with people you're learning from other people and you're not just learning from books because eventually you're writing the next books you you know when you're done you're supposed to be ready to write the books and so that's why I think of uh, software development as more of a trade and a skill than just something that you learn from a book so again uh, cheers and here we are coming to you from Pittsburgh and PyCon 2024